polygamy in China. Could this be in our future? Hello, everybody. Welcome to Rojo Reads the News. I'm your host, Paul. Today, I have an article here that's been aggregated from China Wire. I found it quite interesting. Chinese women should be allowed to have multiple husbands. <laughs> I love stories like this about crazy marriage rituals and, you know, the good and the bad. I think they're just fascinating. You know? China has too many unmarried men due to its severe gender imbalance, 30 million by 2050 to be exact. And one professor has called on authorities to consider letting women have two or more husbands at the same time to help resolve the long-standing social issue. For, first, I gotta ask, I gotta ask. Um, I, have, I have many friends out there who are married. You know, they can barely handle one wife. Can you imagine having two wives? So I have to ask the ladies out there, if you can barely handle one husband, could you handle two husbands? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Professor Yu Kuang Ng, a 77-year-old economist, said that his proposition could be the way to help the nation's army of bachelors find their better half as well as happiness. Here's a picture of the professor. <laughs> he looks quite happy in this picture. Professor Ng, a special chair professor at the School of Economics of Fudan University, stressed that single Chinese men would have more and more difficulties in securing an ideal partner in the coming years due to growing competition. Unwed, middle-aged men would have to compete with much younger rivals to win the heart of a limited pool of single women, the Malaysian-born expert said. If a man's natural, biological, and psychological needs cannot be met appropriately, it will certainly bring a substantial negative impact on his happiness, Professor Ng, Professor Ng noted in an opinion piece published on June 2nd through popular Chinese outlet NetEase. In the column, he put forward two possible solutions. One is the legalization of prostitution, and the other is polyandry, a form of polygamy that allows a woman to take two or more lawful husbands. So first, pr uh, prostitution to be made legal. I'm all for that. I think it's fine. I don't understand why prostitution is illegal. The morality of prostitution is something that we can debate, but in my opinion, it doesn't make any sense that it is illegal. There are other associated crimes that have to do with prostitution, that, but uh, polyandry, I'm fine with that too. When you get married, it's a legal partnership between two individuals. I don't, I don't care about who they are. It's basically forming a, a business partnership, essentially. When you have more than one partner, it just complicates things even more. For those of you who ever had business partners, you know what I'm talking about. Neither practice is permitted by Chinese law. Professor Ning said while prostitutes might satisfy men's urgent biological needs, they would not be able to provide life companionship as wives do. Yeah, but they might keep the hair in their head, and they might live longer. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> to me, that's not a very convincing argument. <laughs> if it weren't for the serious imbalance of the male and female ratio, I would not think of polyandry at all, he argued. Secondly, I do not promote or encourage polyandry. I only think that faced with the problem of having more men than fewer women, the government may perhaps consider it. He suggested that many men, such as him, would agree to share a wife with others than running the risk of having no wife at all. I think there's actually a place in China, like, you know, traditionally the, the women, um, like, run the household. And they have male suitors and essentially have multiple husbands that come by the house to get their loving on and then, uh, and then leave. And the woman is in charge of everything. I can't remember where that is, though. I'll have to look that one up. Professor Ning is not the first expert who has come up with unconventional ideas to help unmarried Chinese find their significant other. Mao Shaolong, a renowned scholar, said in 2017 that the government should allow more foreign women to live in the country in the hope that some of them would end up marrying its leftover men, which is a real thing, by the way. Everyone talks about leftover women. The leftover men phenomenon here, I think, is an even bigger issue that no one ever talks about. He wrote, it could be an advisable tactic to aptly improve the reformation of the immigration policy and let more foreign women come to live and work in China to relieve the 
bachelor crisis. Traditionally, baby boys are preferred by Chinese parents because of their ability to carry forward the family name. Decades of illegal baby gender selection, prompted by the one-child policy, has caused the country to suffer from a severe gender gap. The gender ratio between baby boys and baby girls has reached 1.3 to 1 at its highest. Around 15 million Chinese men between the ages of 35 and 59 won't be able to find a wife by 2020, and by 2050, the number could be nearly 30 million, it is estimated. Many Chinese bachelors, most from southern China, have paid high prices to marry Vietnamese women after failing to find a Chinese partner, prompting human trafficking concerns. Yes, there are documentaries all over uh, the internet uh, about human trafficking issues. There are some really, really bad horror stories that come out of this. I don't know. I'm not sure that this is the answer. As a lifelong bachelor, I do not see this as a solution, but I recognize that I'm not like most men out there. But what do you think about this? Comment below. Let me know.